World War I brought about a huge change in party politics in the UK. The Liberals splintered, Labour rose up, and the Conservatives turned their fortunes around. Let's explore why in this video. At the start of the Great War, the Liberal Party was in power, with Herbert Asquith as PM. The Liberal Party was the party that sought radical reform of political institutions and increasingly social institutions too. It had recently introduced a limited social security system, but it was full of factions. The Labour Party had few seats and was founded only in 1900. Its base of support was working men from trade unions, frustrated by a lack of a voice in the Liberal Party. It expanded throughout the war and benefited enormously from the 1918 Representation of the People Act, which allowed many more poor working men and women to vote than previously. Labour members were often revolutionary socialists, inspired by the bloodthirsty Lenin, though the leaders were more moderate. The war required state intervention on a previously unthinkable scale, as Britain fought tooth and nail for victory in a long, bitter war. This need split the Liberal Party, which went from supporting a laissez-faire economy to a command economy. For example, in 1917, the government started controlling food prices. Many Liberals disliked this interference in the private market. By 1917, the unscrupulous, cunning, liberal Lloyd George had overthrown Asquith to become the new Prime Minister. By the time he lost power in 1922, the Liberal Party's days of importance were over. Finally, the Conservatives, in opposition for years at the start of the war, soon entered a wartime coalition with the Liberals, just as David Cameron and Nick Clegg would 95 years later. The Conservatives have always been more cohesive than other parties, but at the start it was divided over Ireland and tariff reform. It helped create the new muscular interventionist state, worked hard to win the war against the Kaiser, and by the end of the war, it was in a strong position to dominate the peace. Overall, the biggest change in the political landscape was the eclipse of the Liberals by Labour, helped by the representation of the People Act, which gave power to the working class.